Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video would answer the mostly asked question in the DM or on the top mate also that if a company gets my UAN, would they be able to search my service history? So this is the PF related question. So many of the people are having such kind of PF based questions because uh, at times you are uh, trying with uh, some uh, fake companies in your CV or at times you might be having some gaps but uh, you are trying to fill in with some experience so such kind of questions might come up to you that uh, if you give the UAN number then would that company be able to search the service history or not now see before we deep dive into this thing there are certain aspects that you should understand okay which are those aspects so first is this website epfo website itself okay and this is your employees provider fund provider fund website right so this is your one of the website and uh, this epfindia.gov.in is uh, another website and this is for international workers okay so there are different websites that are available on which your service history is visible now who can access this particular service history so the very first thing is you or yourself you can view your service history epfo itself can also view your service history okay now the next and the important thing when you give your uan number so every company or the employer they have their account okay and if they take your uan number but if you are not an employee of them okay see understand this words very importantly because there's very thin line of difference if you are an employee of that company okay then they can view they will have access of your service history that you have done not only that where you have worked what was the time duration that you have worked if uh, there is any overlapping or there is any kind of uh, at the same time you have worked in the two companies right that also can be seen if you are an employee of that employer so once you become an employee of that employer then that company person can view your uh, service history and all those things if you have given your uan number to the company or the employer and you are not an employee of that particular company so what would happen as soon as they will enter the un number so this is the website wherein they will do all these things so they'll enter their username password okay and uh, they'll go to the member service history but that will not be accessible since the person is not an since the person or the candidate is not an employee of that particular company so when you get hired when you get the job at that time company or the employer can definitely see and can access your service history now see i'll come to the next question next aspect of that uh, what is bgv and how it is done okay okay so what is bgv and background check verification See, we'll, we'll discuss this thing. Okay, now one more thing I would like to tell you. Um, before 2020 year, okay, such kind of history, the employers were not able to see. Okay, 2020, it was not accessible. Okay, but if you take the recent years, 2025, 2024, so you would be able to see the record. So after 2020, they have... Uh, got the service history access provided you are a member you are an employee of that particular company okay so that's very important now why do companies do this bgv and uh, what happens in that so in bgv background check verification the companies they have their they the companies what they will do is they will hire some of the third party consultants okay 
and these third party consultants what they will do is they will take the un number of you from the employer who has taken your interview okay and what they will do is they, th these are the websites so they will have the access for that because it's it's a kind of the thing that is not something that uh, uh, is very much secured i would say okay you can get those things so these third party consultants are being paid from the companies some xyz amount and it is a very nominal amount it's not a big amount like in uh, lakhs or crores but they have a tie up so when when i say tie up so the companies are paying some x amount to the third party consultant to get this information and uh, they would have done some documentation that in a month we would be asking you to process this many amount of candidates record so you have to get that information so this third party consultant they'll use the website they'll take your un number and during the bgv itself even if you are not an employee of that third party consultant they'll come to know whether you are authenticated whether you have worked in the mentioned companies as you have put in your uh, resume or is it something else also you have worked or is it an overlapping history or is it a moonlighting maybe you have done or maybe you did not work at that time and your gap was there but you are trying to showcase a different company name at that time so a company can ser search your service history provided you are an employee of that or the companies these days what they are doing is for background check verification they already have third party consultant it's not new so they already have third party consultant and what they will do is they will approach those third party consultants they'll ask them to verify if the employee who has been recently interviewed is has the service history proper or not now why such kind of things have come up because during the covid time when people were working from home so you would have you can remember recall that incident when uh, accenture company laid off multiple employees and they told that they were moonlighting now how did this come to know it was 2020 only covid time i think uh, first wave or second wave uh, time was there and all of a sudden we were shocked having that news that how can the employer get that history so this was what the change that has happened so on the epfo website the companies got the access of the service history of their members of their employees who were working in their companies and that's how they were able to trace back whether this particular company is getting whether this particular employee is getting the paid salary from only us or is it someone else also involved in his payment so that's kind of things have been happening and that's why the uh, layoffs and after that if you will see the bgv process have got more stringent and the people are uh, uh, the companies are having multiple round of bgv before you get onboarded before you get hired right so this was a short video on uh, can company can search your service history or not right so it's a very thoughtful process and uh, if you are going to go with this particular approach definitely risk is there and if you get caught the companies will uh, not shortlist you and the companies might not give you the reason or they'll give you the reason that based on the, your service history such kind of information have been uh, traced right so these are the ways how the employer will check your service history it's not a direct way but definitely an indirect way to do the same right so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more updates